All right, so to prove the uh, product rule, of course, um, what we want to do is uh, use the uh, definition of the derivative. So um, the derivative of uh, f of x times g of x is going to equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h times g of x plus h minus f of x times g of x all over h. Now uh, it doesn't seem like you know there's much you can do but um, this is going to be your first uh, lesson. This is math Math Tricks uh, 101, Math Tricks for Proofs uh, 101. And um, this is a trick used uh, commonly to uh, you know prove various things. It's, it's a good thing to have. So um, basically what it boils down to is you're going to add zero. So what you do is you add and you subtract uh, the same thing from um, this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, f of x g of x plus h. And then I'm going to subtract exactly the same thing, f of x uh, g of x plus h. And so then um, notice here that if you combine, so here, you know, you're just putting these right here. If you combine these two, notice that you can uh, factor this out. This is equal to um, the limit as h approaches 0 of um, Notice how they have an f of x in common, so you can factor the f of x out. f of x, and you would have uh, left over uh, g of x plus h minus g of x all over h. So that's combining these two and these two when you factor out the f of x. And then um, plus, I'm going to write this as two limits. So I'm going to write this as limit as h approaches 0 using the limit laws. I can break this up into two limits. Now if I put together uh, these two, the first one and the last one, notice that you can factor out a g of x plus h. And then you would have left over a um, f of x plus h, sorry for the encroachment there, minus f of x all over h. And well, take a look here. What is this guy? Woo! That guy right there, that is simply the definition of g prime of x. And then right here, whoa, dude. That's simply uh, f prime of x. So when you put this together, um, you have, if I want to put it in the same order that I have here, I would have, I'm going to start off with this one. So I would have f prime of x times g of x plus h as h goes to 0. This is going to be just g of x and then plus f of x times g prime of x. And that's it. It's the proof of the product rule. And the proof of the quotient rule is very, very, very similar.